Here's how to get a visa to come work in the United States in your own business as an investor without investing $1 million. The E-1 Treaty Trader. You come from a country that has a treaty with the United States of Commerce and Navigation. Google it and see if you come from one of those countries and you desire to come to the United States to continue that trade between the United States and your country of nationality. Trade could be in goods, products, services, banking, insurance, transportation, tourism, technology. Substantial trade means continuous every month. Something in the six-figure range, 100,000 plus over a 12-month period. But greater weight is given to the number of transactions per year than the total value of the transactions per year. You can be an employee of this company as long as you're an executive or a supervisor, or you can be the owner as well. Regardless, you would have to prove that you have the skills and experience to conduct this trade. The visa is good for two years and can be renewed for an additional two years indefinitely as long as you're still doing this trade between your country and the United States. The E-2 Treaty Trader. Again, be a national of a country with a treaty between the United States and your particular country. And invest or in the process of investing a substantial amount of money in a business in the United States. Generally, six figures would do it, 100,000 plus, but some cases even get approved with something less. You have to be 50% owner or more. And you have to be coming to the United States to be able to direct this new enterprise. You will have to show that you have sufficient capital to run this business. A bona fide enterprise in this particular case is a company that produces goods or services for profit, which means you can't just buy a house for $500,000 and say you're an investor. You have to be running a real company. Again, your visa will be valid for two years and it will be renewable every two years indefinitely as long as you're running your business. Family of both E1 and E2 get work visas and get to come join you here in the United States, spouse and children under 21. The L1A visa. You have a company in your country and you have a company in the United States and the company in your country and the company in the United States has at least similar ownership, 50% or more. And you are currently doing business in your country and you are currently doing business in the United States in that company or will shortly and be in the process of doing business in this company in the United States. And then you are seeking to enter the United States as an executive or manager to run the business from the United States side. You have a business in US, you have a business in your home country. You're running it from the United States. And when you say running it, that means managing and supervising employees. So you would need to hire at least one US worker. Your investment has to be substantial and you have to be conducting business in both countries. Substantial means at least six figures, 100,000 plus. You will get a work visa for one year, renewable in two year increments up to seven years. But as an L1A, you can self petition yourself for a green card. After you demonstrate that businesses are running on both sides of the world, your country and the United States, your spouse and children will be able to join you in the United States. Your spouse will get a work permit and any children under 21 will come along as well. And lastly, there is the international parole program. If you have a startup in the United States within the last five years and you have over $265,000 in investments from investors in this business and can show rapid potential growth in this business, you could be granted parole up to two and a half years to come to the United States to run your business. And that parole would be extended for an additional two years for a total of five years. Your spouse and children would also be eligible for parole and your spouse would get a work permit. You must have at least 10% ownership interest in this startup company. The startup company has to be lawfully conducting business in the United States. While nothing precludes you from investing in your business too, you have to show that you have an investment from others of at least $265,000. The investments have to come from citizens or lawful residents of the United States, not from abroad. And the investor has to show that they have made investments in other entities in the past. This is not their first investment. It can't be their first rodeo. The investment has to be in a purchase of equity or convertible debt. 